What is up guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today we've got a huge H&M try on haul for autumn for 2021. There's some very nice pieces in this one. H&M at the minute, I think absolutely kill it. And I really like the sizing on H&M as well. Like it's very true to size, really affordable as well. So let's get straight into the video guys. Let's get straight into the haul. We've got a massive box and we've got like 14 or 15 items loads of stuff i'll link all the stuff in the description if you do like any of the stuff just go and have a look down there and if you do enjoy these sorts of videos really help me out if you could drop the video a like subscribe to the channel the size of the box is ridiculous look at that i always end up getting too much stuff when i do facing out hauls i just see it and i'm like may as well get it i think i've got 14 15 items like i said before let's have a look so we'll go through it all quickly show you what i've got and then i'll try it on after so make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can see what it looks like on oh, right first item beige puffer jacket with a hood i think i went for a size extra large in this i think h&m sizing like i said before is actually really true to size so sometimes most of the time i can get away with a large we'll see xl might even be too big for me we'll see and we've got like a black hoodie with a black print on it Grey quarter zip jumper, then some kind of like black, I don't know, like active wear cargo tech sort of pants, which look quite nice, and some grey cargos. Yeah. Got a beige zip hoodie. I do like a zip hoodie, I do prefer pullover hoodies. But zip hoodies are nice to mix it up again. Dead easy to put on. Sometimes when you've done your hair and you have to put a pullover hoodie on. It's a little bit annoying, isn't it? First world problems anyway. Um, and we've got, I think it's like this, a very similar colour beige sweater. These are 9.99. Ridiculous, ridiculous value. We've got the matching sweatpants. Regular fit, size large. And in charcoal as well. I think it came in a two pack. Let's see. And we've got another sweater in brown, like chocolate brown. This is a big trendy colour for autumn. See it everywhere at the minute, this like chocolate brown. Don't know what I think of it. Bit in between at the minute. And we've got a grey hoodie, basics hoodie. I think they're $18.99 if I'm not mistaken. I'll put all the prices on the screen anyway when I'm trying it on. Right then, I actually got some gym stuff because I saw it and thought it looks all right. And I'm always in the market to try on gym clothes. So these are like a, kind of like a running sport jogger, track pant, 86% recycled polyester, which is nice to see. It's nice to see more sustainable stuff. We've got another pair of cargo pants in black, elasticated waistband, cuff at the bottom, and then a pair of like running bottoms. Trying to get back into running at the minute. Trying to run more than lift weights because I just, I don't know, I want to be a bit slimmer. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then a quarter zip, like training top. This looks really nice. Feels really good quality. I love the Nike ones, but they're just dead expensive, aren't they? Sometimes you can spend like 50 quid on one. Whereas this, I don't actually say how much it was, but I'll put it on the screen. I think it was probably like 15 quid, something like that. And the last item we've got is an overshirt, overshirt jacket, which I actually wore this last night and I am a huge fan of it. So I've got it in large and extra large just to see how the fits differ. This is a large, I'll show you what the extra large looks like as well. Anyway, let's get trying them on, see what they look like. Before we quickly try on the H&M stuff guys, we had a new release for Sulphur Clothing on Sunday and we brought out some very nice new sport looks pants. Make sure you go and have a look at them. A really nice stretchy material. We also restocked the casual comfort joggers in grey. They've been out of stock for a while now. We've just got the minimal white logo. A really nice pair of joggers if you don't want them to be too tight and fitting. Super comfy, a nice cuff at the bottom. I wear a size medium and they fit me perfectly. Go check them out, it'll be linked in the description. First up, we'll try on the jacket. Has to be the jacket first, doesn't it? So like I said, size extra large was actually, I'd say the right choice to go for, for me, definitely. It's very puffy, I'll say that. I will say that again, very, very puffy. If you're in the market for a puffer jacket, I think this was 50 quid. 
it's definitely on the more affordable side. Like some puffer jackets, you can go up to like 500 quid, which is mad. I'll be doing a puffer jacket video very soon as well. Like just going through some of my favorites. Zip pockets, very ideal. Feels good quality for the price. I'll tell you what, it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Just a bit puffy, like the Michelin man. I think I do prefer the ASOS cream one, you know. Next up, we've got the overshirt, the Twill overshirt. Like I said before in plenty of videos, these are a really nice item to have in autumn, winter. Nice to wear when you're in out for a few drinks or to the bar. I love wearing these, and this is probably one of my favorite ones, you know. It's so nice. Like, it's not too thick. The quality feels good, and I think it's only 25 quid. This is in a size large. I definitely don't need anything bigger than this. This fits me bang on. Perfect fit. The extra large is going to be massive. I'll try it on so you can see the difference, but it's going to be huge on me, that one. So the XL isn't too bad, but it's definitely more of like an oversized fit. You know what I mean? If you want something a bit baggier, then maybe size up. But for me, true to size is perfect in H&M. Moving on to sweaters next. So this is the chocolate brown one. They're like a relaxed fit, um, but this isn't a size extra large. Maybe I could, I probably could have got away with a large, to be honest. Extra large is definitely a bit more of an oversized fit, but in sweaters and hoodies, I do prefer something that is usually a bit baggier, that isn't too tight. I used to prefer tighter, but I think your style just do, does change, doesn't it, over time? And I think when you get older, you don't want stuff that's too, too tight fitting. It's quite nice. I do it really like it, and it's an absolute bargain. You, they have loads of different colours on the website, so if you like this colour, I'm sure there'll be loads of other options. If you don't want to spend loads on a hoodie and you want just like a nice cheap one, this is probably the best out of the bunch, I'd say. I think they're like 18, 19 pounds, not expensive at all. Decent quality for the price. Obviously it's not going to be as nice as like some of the better ones, higher end, which are like 40, 50 quid, but it does the job. Can't go wrong with a gray sweater, gray hoodie, can you? For autumn, looks quite nice. So beige sweater, exactly the same as the chocolate brown one. Same fit, same quality, same style. These are definitely more like autumn colours, a bit more neutral palette, do you know what I mean? Greys, beiges, browns, neutral tones. I do like a like, like a off-white cream. That's maybe my favourite sort of colour. Maybe a similar colour to the puffer jacket at the start. But yeah, can't go wrong with it, guys. Very nice, cheap and cheerful, does the job. Goes pretty nicely with the sulfate grey joggers, doesn't it? The casual comfort ones. This is like a nice Sunday outfit, isn't it? Just chilling on a Sunday. Bit of Netflix. Bit of F1. That's my scene. We've got lots of sweats in this video, haven't we, to be fair? So this is the grey quarter zip sweatshirt. I do like this. I like this style. It makes it kind of a bit more smarter, do you know what I mean? You could wear this on night out probably. You actually could. You, you could obviously wear a hoodie or a sweater if you wanted, but it's a bit more casual where I'd say this is a little bit more smart. So it's still not dead smart, but it's quite nice. Nice fit, not too tight. Again, quite like a relaxed, regular fit. Quality's decent. Can't go wrong with it. Honestly, for the price, H&M, I think, the, some of the basics are definitely the best. So we've got another hoodie, guys. This one's like a black one with the black minimal print. Kind of gives me like essential vibes, you know, fear of God. That's that sort of thing, I think. It's kind of trying to replicate it but on a high street level. This is an extra large, relaxed fit. I'll tell you one thing though, look how short the sleeves are. And that's not even like fully stretching out. That is, obviously if you put it down by your side, but that's quite a big gap to your wrist, isn't it? That, even to your hand. Not ideal, a bit short for me. It's quite short in the body as well. Like when you stretch up, right, the whole aim should be not to show your torso. You can see the bottom of it there. So this is definitely gonna shrink in the wash as well, which will make it even smaller. This is probably my least favorite thing so far. Just the fit and the, the quality is definitely not as good as like the gray. Definitely not as good. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Hmm. 
So relaxed fit zip hoodie, not bad. I definitely do prefer the pullover hoodies, this one. I think you can kind of tell the quality is not as good on this one. I don't know why, maybe it's because they've added a zip to it and it just kind of bunches up, you know, like when a zip hoodie bunches up here and it just feels like a bit, it's hard to explain, it just doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be firm and gonna withhold its shape. Because like as soon as you put it in the wash, it's just gonna go like that, which is not ideal, so yeah. Definitely get pullover hoodies from H&M or sweaters, they're definitely gonna be better than the zip. I love a quarter zip for the gym. I think they're really nice, even when you're running as well, stuff like this to wear a class. And this one's actually really good. So size extra large, really good quality for the price. Very surprised with this, you know. Good length, not too long, not too short. Nice fit around like the chest, shoulders and arms. You won't be able, I don't think you'd be able to wear anything underneath it. It's quite like a tight fitting, but I'm not complaining. I think they have a black one as well. They have it in gray and black. Really nice, very impressed with this. I have to do a H&M active wear haul, full haul. And I've got a few pairs of joggers and stuff, which I'll show you in a sec. I just can imagine it like not holding again. That's the only thing with the cheaper material. I can imagine it not being stiff after a wash, but can't really doubt it at the minute. Wait and see. So just before we move on to all the bottoms, we've got cargo pants, joggers, loads of nice stuff there. I just want to talk about today's video sponsor, guys. So a massive thank you to Rose Gold on Black for sponsoring this video and always supporting the channel. It's a brand that focuses on men's jewelry and accessories. They have really nice minimal bracelets, like this one I'm wearing here. I always wear this one. I like quite a small bracelet. They have other ones as well, which are like a bit thicker and different styles as well, but these are my favorites. And then we've got a black necklace as well. Some of the necklaces on there are so nice. They've got chains as well now and rings. So if you wanna go and check out the best men's accessories and jewelry, there'll be a link right at the top of the description. You can use my code Josh Soul for an extra 10% off your order. And actually at the minute with every order, they're giving away complimentary piece. So you get either a bracelet or a necklace with every order, which is very nice. Make sure you go and check them out guys. Really nice to pair with loads of different outfits. When you're just wearing a simple t-shirt like this, if you had a necklace or something, a bracelet, it just finishes off an outfit really well in my opinion. So yeah, go and check them out. It'll be linked in the description. So guys, the first pair of pants is like a cargo regular fit pair. You can tell these are quite baggy. They're in a size large, I think they're a regular fit. Massive on the waist, you know. It's quite nice from H&M, it's quite nice a large being a massive on the waist. <laughs> Just goes to show some brands have ridiculous sizing. H&M's quite big, Zara's very small, Arm's quite small and slim fitting. ASOS is kind of small as well, quite slim. But yeah, they're quite nice. They're just way too baggy around the calf area. Like, look how much excess material there is there. They're nice and comfy around the upper leg and around the glutes, which is good for me. Just way too baggy around this bit. I've had to tie them at the bottom just to give them a kind of taper. Right, so these are kind of the, um, like, outdoorsy pant. Kind of like a tech pant. Tech cargo pant, but with no pockets. Polyamide elastane blend material. And I tell you what, these are actually really, really nice. They've got zip pockets, they've got a press stud at the front, but then they've got the elasticated waist at the back there. Really comfy. These would be so nice for like long walks or even I reckon, all right, you could even wear these to go out in. You know what, they're very similar. They're very similar to Represent uh, 247 pant, which are, how much are they? 125 quid, which is ridiculous. Even maybe a better fit, you know, like the crotch isn't too dropped at all. In a large, they fit me really nice. Zip pockets. You just don't have the um, cargo pant pocket, do they, on the thing. And they've even got a pretty nice taper towards the bottom of the leg. Like, they could have a little bit, they could be a little bit more tapered, but... I'll tell you what, guys, I'm a big fan of these. The material's so nice, like a polymide um, elastane blend. Very ideal. So these are a cuffed cargo pant and the fit of the previous pants is much better than these. Like the crotch is a lot more dropped in these and a lot tighter around the glutes and the upper leg. But I do think these are a slim fit. So slim skinny fit from H&M, they do make them quite a bit skinnier. That's 
that's actually mad when I put my leg up there it comes down on the waist very bizarre I don't know what material these are actually I do like the pocket so and I like the fit of them just the crotch is too low and the material isn't as stretchy as the previous one I don't think it has, a, has as much elastane as that one hmm. Yeah guys, so these are only 4% elastane, whereas the previous ones were 14% elastane. Big difference. That extra stretch helps so much. So these are the next pants. We've got They're like a, a gym sports jogger. Actually really nice, you know. Actually, these ones have got 14% elastane and the other ones have 11% elastane, so I just got kind of mixed up. Really thin, really lightweight, so they'll be perfect for running or even just training, no matter what you're doing. Super stretchy. Which is what you want. You can play football or any sports in this sort of pan. Very nice zip pockets as well, which is a big plus. Keep your keys and stuff in there. Really nice. You've also got like a zip going towards the bottom with the reflective strip. Obviously good if you're running in the dark and stuff like that. Yeah, quite nice. The only one thing I'd say is maybe they could be a little bit more tapered towards the bottom of the ankle. But that's my only one thing I'd say about them. So these are another like gym running pant, but these ones are much tighter fit. They've kind of got a different material on the bottom as well. And that material's super, super stretchy. This one's a bit stretchy, but just not as much of a stretch as that. So I think these are for runners, definitely. Again, they've got the reflective strip on the back of the calf. So you can see they've got pockets there yeah i definitely prefer the other ones more these are just a bit too tight for me because i have bigger calves than probably most people so they're just they're coming up quite tight on my calves but they are quite nice definitely helps having that 14 percent elastane doesn't it when you when you're in the gym you don't want to be restricted by stuff yeah, it's nice last couple of items so these are just the regular fit sweatpants in a size large I reckon maybe I could even get away with a medium in these because they're massive on the waist and they're, they're quite a nice fit. They're not too tight, they're a bit like a tapered regular fit I'd say. Really comfy. If you need some affordable joggers, definitely go and have a look at these. Some affordable sweatpants that'll keep you comfy. Yeah. Again, so the same joggers but in like a nice dark charcoal. Really, really comfy. I think the large actually is a perfect fit for me. I don't need them to be any tighter or any bigger. A nice comfy pair of sweatpants. Can't go wrong. H&M. I think that was a very good haul, to be honest, wasn't it? Let's wrap it up. So, guys, that is going to conclude the H&M haul. Some very nice pieces in here. I actually do really like H&M. You know, it might be one of my favourite high street brands for basics because it's really affordable and some of the stuff can fit really nice. Like these, these like pants that I tried on. If I just went to the tailor and sorted the bottom out a little bit, which will cost me maybe a tenner, just make them a bit more tapered, that'd be banging, like so, so nice. And really affordable as well. Like you'd have to, it just goes to show you don't have to spend loads and loads of money to look half decent, do you know what I mean? Don't just be buying these massive big designer brands thinking you're gonna look better and the quality's gonna be better. A lot of the time they probably just made in the same factory but they just put a big logo or like badge on it or whatever anyway i think a few of my favorite things the overshirt is so nice i really like this as well this gray like quarter zip sweater then black pants the joggers at the end super comfy these charcoal ones i've still got on really really comfy just go and check it out i'll link it all in the description go and have a look if you do like any of the stuff and that is it. As well, don't forget to go and check out today's video sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. The best men's accessories you're going to find. And I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Take care. See you later.